Hi, I'm Edgar. And I'm Heather. Welcome to another episode of Does a Decade Matter? Where generations X and Y intersect to discuss, argue, and even sometimes agree on movies. Welcome back. Hi. Hey, honey. Hi. How's it going? It's... I'm here. Do you know why I picked this movie? Because I shaved my head? Because I shaved your head. Because I asked you to shave my head? Yes. Because humidity? Because humidity and because Deadpool only came out last year. Well, here's the thing. And you're not a teenager. No. I didn't realize I could cosplay as Negasonic Teenage Warhead until I'd had my head shaved for about a week. Also, you can cosplay as Ripley from Alien 3. No. No. All right. For those of our listeners who don't know... Alien 3 is my second favorite Alien movie. And your first? Alien. The first one. Yeah. Okay. I don't like any of them? That's fair. But you sat through them. Well, you sat through three of them so far. Yes. And next year, probably around this time, Uh because it was, I think, around... Well, it was... Year 3, episode 26, when we watched Aliens. Okay. With a friend of the show, Maggie. It's just us tonight. Um, so, next year around this time, we're going to have to find some kind of Joss Whedon apologist. We, have, we know several. Ones who will defend Alien Resurrection? That I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Maybe maybe you could defend Alien Resurrection or Joss Whedon. Except for they took almost all of Joss Whedon out of that movie. No, they didn't. Okay, they kept the dialogue. They kept the he can't handle criticism and nothing is ever his fault. Okay. But we're not here to talk about that. That's right. for next year. Oh. We're here to talk about Alien 3. And I just... It... Ugh. Boring. Okay. What? The plot on this one was very, very, very thin. Did you see how many drafts they wrote? No! Why would I know that? Oh, a fuckload of drafts. Why? Why? How? <laughs> why would that even be something I would know? They're... <laughs> I liked all of David Fincher's output in the 90s. You keep saying that like I'm supposed to know who that is. David Fincher, uh, Fight Club, Seven, The Game, I guess. Um, Yeah, I don't see it. Oh, I see it. I see it real hard. But anyway. No, I like Seven, and I like Fight Club. I don't see it here. I, I could see splashes of it in a lot of the the style, the cinematography... The everything is wet and dirty. Yeah. <laughs> See, now it's like, oh no. Everything is wet and dirty. I yeah. get it. It's a picture no. movie. Okay, so they went through a fuck ton of drafts of this movie and came up with the least amount of plot possible. Kind of. Huh. And Fox was just fucking over Fincher left and right. So when they did the re release in like 2003. The one we didn't watch. Uh, the the remaster and re-release. Oh, okay. So, like, everyone's like, yeah, you can... We're gonna release the theatrical cuts, and if you like, you can, like, you know, give us a director's cut. And Fincher said, nope. Then why do we have two different versions? Uh, because the other one is the work print cut that the producers scrapped together. I don't get and it. It's... The producers, like, got together with an editor and said... Okay, put this back in. Put this in. All of this other stuff. So it's it is a longer cut. It's a producer's cut versus a director's cut. You basically, yeah. Okay. And Fincher said of that, like, yeah, I guess they did all right. Not getting involved. Huh. So like, kudos to him for that. But it's it still looks like a Fincher film, and I I will readily admit that. I love this movie because of the potential that I saw. There were a lot of problems. 
Yeah. The story. Okay. Which... How did you feel about Aliens? Don't remember. Okay. I probably should have, like, re-listened to that one and figured it out. <laughs> of course, it would have just been, like, Maggie fawning and me hating it, and you probably being indifferent or hating it for entirely different reasons. Yep. Um, so, a lot of people didn't like that they killed off all three of the survivors from, well, three of the four survivors from the previous film. Uh, did any of them besides Sigourney Weeder want to come back? I don't think they asked. By the time they came up with a script that got greenlit. Oh. Since I'm not attached, I don't care. Okay. And... Well, I could, I could understand how they... They would have to do something with Newt, who was like an 11 or 12 year old girl in 1986. And when this came out six years later, she would have been 18. But in Cryo Sleep. You don't age. Ah. So, um... Well... Okay, so... That solved that problem. There's the reason to kill Newt, but, like, why kill Michael Bean? Like, there wasn't a reason for that. Because she had to be the sole survivor? Because she had that thing in her? Yeah. I guess. I don't know. The setup was... Poor... (laughs) I felt the same way about Aliens. I don't like any of these movies, so you're the one who keeps making me watch them. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. So, meh. <clears throat> it was... How long is this movie? A little under two hours. So, it's an hour and 45 minutes of them running around, running away from a poorly CG'd alien. Okay, I will give you that it was poorly CG'd in 1992. I will give you that. I thought the puppet scenes with it were a lot better. Puppets are always better. Almost always better, yes. And there was no point in her having sex with the doctor. Yeah, but... I like the way they did it. Yeah, like, to their credit, they cut away the whole thing. It was, yeah, I'm feeling a little frisky. And then, different scene altogether. And then... Like, waking up like, oh god, what did I do? And she just lost her crew and a kid, and she's like, want to get down? Hey, I don't judge people for how they deal with trauma. Uh Uh-huh. What? I (laughs) did. And that was the one, the, the doctor was the one character I actually liked. The morphine addict? I don't judge. Yeah, okay. Well, he was... He kicked morphine. Right! He was... that. Yeah, non-issue. Yeah. Former addict. And that's... That is how they get you. Like, we're gonna give you a character you care about, and then we're gonna kill him. Because I don't give two shits about Ripley. I don't think I have ever given two shits about Ripley. That makes me sad. Now, is it... Ri- She's not a relatable character in any way, shape, or form. <sighs> All right. How do you feel about Sigourney Weaver? I'm not a fan. Okay. Had this been played by somebody else, probably still wouldn't have cared. I, I don't know how to respond to that. You're the one who made me watch the movie. I love this one so much. Why? How can you defend this movie? You need to take the time to defend this crap whole plotless movie. Do I have to make you watch this movie again? No, you have to defend it. Okay. First off, what I liked about this movie is that they took everything that Jim Cameron did to the Alien franchise and said, no. Did his have plots? It's Jim Cameron, so of course not. A lot of fawning. A lot of women being helpless and big and strong action hero men coming to save the day. Which doesn't make any fucking sense because he's a goddamn Canadian. They don't save the day in Canada? They don't have the heart on for the military that we have. Okay. I... Ugh, Jim's, Jim Cameron. Ugh. Did he do the first two? No, he did the first one. 
No, the second one. He did Aliens, 1986. Okay. okay. Uh, see also Terminator and Terminator 2. Don't care, don't care. Titanic. I've seen it. More Avatar. Than once. Haven't seen it. Don't. Okay. I don't have the anger issues you do. I am sorry. You, you don't hate filmmakers the way I do. No, I which, hate actresses, and I get shit left, right, and center for it. It's commendable that you don't hate filmmakers the way I do. No, I hate actresses, and I get shit for it. Okay. Do you want to talk about that? Not particularly. Okay. In your self-righteousness over there, I don't get to be allowed to be... I don't, you, I'm not allowed to be self-righteous about can, my hatred of females. You, I mean, actresses. I, I believe the preferred nomenclature is women and not females. <laughs> I'm going to hell. <laughs> <sighs> just going to say, whenever I hear someone refer to women as females, almost never good things to say. But... That's not about this movie. Nope. I will point out that this one fails the Bechtel test real hard. Because there isn't a second female character in any way, shape, or form. Correct. And I'm sure in one of the many previous revisions of the the screenplay, it was not set on either a, uh, a monastery or... A double Y chromosome prison planet. Yeah. I'm just going to throw that one out there. And it, so, yeah, that's... That is unforgivable. Not like much of this movie, which is totally forgivable. No. <laughs> nope, they killed the dog. Yeah, they did. And I... They killed everybody except for you told me that Sigourney Weaver is, gonna, is in the fourth one, so she didn't actually die, which disappoints me greatly. I, Does she come back as a fucking robot? This this next year can't pass fast enough. Oh my god. But then, after that one, we will be done with the Alien franchise. Promise? Because I'm not going to make you watch Alien vs. Predator. Oh my god. Don't we have to wait like six years for that? For what? Alien vs. Predator. No, that came out in 2004. We could have done that our first year. Huh. Yeah. Sorry, not sorry? Please don't. I I wouldn't. Honey, it was PG-13. What? That is the right look to make. Yeah. They said, we're going to take... These two R-rated franchises... Hard R-rated franchises. Mesh them together and make them what? PG-13. Like Gremlins PG-13? Gremlins was only PG. Oh, never mind. But, yes. We're going to tone down all the language and violence that you've come to love and remember from both of these franchises. And it's going to be okay for teenagers to see. Not the case. I'm thinking Freddy vs. Jason. That one was not PG-13. <laughs> I have a story about that movie, though. Haven't seen it. The first time I saw Freddy vs. Jason, I was 18 and working at a pizza place while living at my parents. And my I thought it came out more recently than that. Freddy vs. Jason? Yeah. No, it was like early 2000s. Oh my god. It was, it was real bad. And... My boss, the manager, who was, I think he was just a horror movie enthusiast, or at least his franchise was Hellraiser. Okay. Um, None like, of which I've ever seen. Like, sent me to Target to buy a TV with money that he had pulled together with another guy, and so we kind of... We turned the lights off at the business to watch Freddy vs. Jason. While answering the phone and cooking pizza? And delivering pizza, yeah. We were fantastically irresponsible. Yeah. And I don't think anyone who I worked with then is still working there. Well, it's been a while since you've worked there. Yeah. Also... 
no one should be that no one should be that irresponsible. <laughs> Says the guy who used to like throw empty beer cans on the roof at said pizza place later in life. Oh my god. Well, that's what happens when you promote someone who hates the job that they have. But anyway, enough about pizza and Freddy vs. Jason. Yes. I never want to watch this movie ever again. Uh, you know what? I probably won't make you watch it ever again. But I'm, ass- I'm I'm going to assume that it's a lot like the first two, and by next week I'll forget. Maybe. Though I kind of want to watch the assembly cut, like when you're, I don't know, taking a nap or something. Not tonight. Oh, no. <laughs> no, because that one's half an hour longer. And I felt like this one was mm, a little bit long itself. It felt really long. It was under two hours, which is a bonus, I guess, for its mm-hmm. in its in its favor. Especially considering that the director was locked out of editing entirely. Well, which I think would contribute to it being a little bonkers. Yes. <sighs> oh yes. What? Hash browns blessed. No such thing. I know what I'm going to do next year. What? It's going to be great. What? See, one week, I'm going to make you watch Serenity. Make you, because that's a real arm twister. We've already done Serenity. No, we haven't. Yeah, we have. No, we haven't. Yes, we have. No, we haven't. Pretty sure we have. Pretty sure we haven't. I'm willing to put dollars on it, like a dollar or the two quarters that are on the floor (laughs) in the kitchen. (laughs) Those are my quarters. (laughs) I'm willing to put those two quarters... On the table to say that we have done Serenity before. I don't think we have. And that's fine. You can say that, but anywho. We do that one one week. Again. And then the next time my uh, my my turn comes around, mm-hmm. I am going to make you watch Alien 4. The Joss Whedon one. Yeah. And you can say, huh, it seemed like, and I'll say, yeah. Yeah, it fucking does. Isn't it Firefly without the comedy? Uh, Serenity? Yeah. No. The alien movie. Firefly? Yeah. There was nothing funny about any of that. <sighs> anyway. I just feel like talking trash tonight. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> oh. I like this for the movie I wanted it to be, alright? Yeah, and I don't see any of those things, so... nope. Okay, well, we haven't done Serenity after... Christ, when did that one last wrap? Uh, the Shawshank Redemption. So was, was it in the first 70-some episodes? I think so. I don't think it was. But I'll let you find that out. Will do. And we'll call this a night... Yep. You can drink for everybody in this movie. Oh my god, there was so much drinking. Just everybody in yeah. the movie. And if you're Heather, you just uh, start drinking and don't stop, because it doesn't get better. Don't stop, won't stop. Thank you for listening to this episode of DADM. Our theme music was provided by bensound.com. You can download us from SoundCloud, iTunes, or wherever you find your favorite podcasts. Follow us on Twitter at DADMPod, like us on Facebook, or email us at DADMPod at gmail.com. We'll see you next week.